everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching today i'm going to be doing this look right here i was actually inspired by this perfume bronze goddess i was inspired by the amazing weather we've been having i was inspired by the pictures i've been seeing of everyone on the beach even though i don't have a beach near me i was inspired by this perfume which is the bronze goddess s by estee lauder this is my favorite perfume for the summer like literally I wear it every single day I have the bronze oil I have the cream it just smells like summer in a bottle I picture like literally like bronze goddesses just spraying themselves with this if you haven't smelled this go smell it right now because it smells so good so i was inspired by this perfume to kind of do my everyday summer makeup routine my summer makeup routine is kind of different from my winter routine but also similar it takes me a lot less time and i have a lot more emphasis on being glowy whereas like in the winter i kind of just want like a more glam like eye but for the summer i really want to put emphasis on my skin i always do but i really want to be glowy and have like a beautiful kind of like sunburnt bronze cheek i've been getting a lot of questions about about this makeup routine my favorite summer makeup routine and I thought it was perfect because it is summer now well not quite yet but it's definitely summer weather I really like that fresh bronze look where you just look so pretty not overdone your skin is like the center of attention and you look like you are a bronze goddess like as if I was in Mount Olympus like Aphrodite or Athena I feel like this is what their makeup would look like so let me know what do you picture the goddesses makeup looking like I've been also loving a bunch of new products recently that let you get this I will list everything down below as usual so before we get into it don't forget to subscribe and like this video I would really appreciate it and if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching what I have on my face right now is just my skincare products I am going to be doing an updated skincare routine on my channel because a lot of you guys really requested that so I finally found the products the only products that I've ever been able to keep my skin clear the next thing I'm going to put on my face is the bioderma photoderm compact with SPF 50 plus this is basically just a mineral cream product it looks like it's very dark but I literally just go in with my fingers and and kind of rub it all over my face this kind of acts like a primer and then it also gives your face a nice base color which you know I, I could never get enough of so it's not meant to give you you know coverage but if you do want a no makeup day this will give you a little bit of a tan but also provide you with your SPF so I've been really liking this then I'm going in with my foundation I'm going in with the Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 6.5 I'm just pumping two pumps on the cap and then I'm mixing it with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector this is going to make your foundation a little bit darker mine's broken I don't know how that happened and it's also going to give your skin a really nice shimmer I put this in my foundation instead of an oil in the summer I take my RT's brush and I literally just really quickly just blend that on my face this is a foundation it's weird because this is my favorite foundation in the summer but if I try to use it in the winter I really don't like it I really like the coverage of this you know in the summer sometimes you don't want to look like you have that much makeup on at least I don't, but you still want to look really flawless. For my concealer, I'm going in with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, and I am in the shade Custard. For this, I'm literally sticking my sponge into the pot and just applying it onto my face. This is the fastest way for me to apply this foundation, and it also gives me a really even and natural look. I do sterilize my beauty blenders in a little machine that I have, so I'm not really worried about germs, and it's only me using this concealer, and I do wash my beauty blender regularly. But yeah, this is my favorite way. I go in and go all around, and like this, you don't have like very many harsh lines. It's also just so much faster. Next, I'm going in with my Soleil Tan de Chanel, and I love this because it's such an easy, fast contour. It bronzes you up really nice and it's a cream to powder formula so you don't have to worry about it slip sliding around your face all day and I've been obsessed with this every time summer comes around I love this you don't have to worry about like having harsh contour lines one time when I actually when I got my hair done I forgot to blend out my contour on my neck and that's probably the most embarrassing thing ever the key to a bronze goddess look and how to look so bronze and you know summery and like you're on a vacation in Greece is to really bronze up your skin in a sun-kissed way so you really want those like redder tints those even orangey tints and all the shades that I'm using really give you that so for my face powder I'm using my new all-time favorite literally the favorite product I've ever put on my face it is the veil translucent setting powder from hourglass if you guys have not tried this it's honestly life-changing and I apply this just with my beauty blender I'll go straight in 
dust off a little powder you know in the summer you really want to set your face really well because you don't want it to crease and you can set your face a lot with this powder to make sure that your skin is not you know going anywhere make sure that your skin is not you know going anywhere and i kind of just take that all over my face pressing it in your into your face with a beauty blender is obviously going to make it look less powdery which is honestly something that i try to avoid at all costs for my bronzer today i'm going to be using the charlotte tilbury film star bronze and go <laughs> the charlotte tilbury film star bronze and glow palette i'm going to be using this on my face and on my eyes so i'm just dipping my brush into that i have a brush like this and I really like building up bronzer on my face. It, I find it gives you such a glam look. I like this bronzer because it's really brown. It's really similar to the Hourglass Hula Bronzer. But it has maybe a little bit more shimmer in it. But they both have that really brown, uh, reddish, almost undertone. Quick water break. Now I'm going in with the Hourglass Admi Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. I'm just going to focus on putting this on where like I would naturally get a tan or where I would look like I'm getting a tan because this has like redder pigments in it and this is really going to make you look like you have a tan and you want to you know brush it kind of like this because you don't just get tan here you get tan here you know on the top of your cheeks too forehead think about where you get sunburned <laughs> For blush, because you want to look like you've been like baking in the sun, you have a nice, maybe a little bit of a sunburn going on, you want to take a redder, orangey color. I was never a blush girl, but now I can't live without it. It really just brings the whole look together. It lifts your cheeks. Okay, for eyes, we're taking the same bronzer that we put on the face, the Charlotte Tilbury one, and we're just going to go in windshield wiper motions on our eyelids. I like doing this um, in the summer especially because it really just makes your whole look flow really well, and your eyes match your face, and you just look really like effortless. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. This is the Ed Essence Metal Shock Eyeshadow. I don't know, it doesn't say the color. But it's just a gold one and it's so pretty. So I just go ahead and apply this onto my lid. It is a little bit light, but I'll show you what I do with it. I kind of put it where I would put my concealer if I was doing a cut crease, I want to say. I don't put it the whole way though. Just on the inner half like that. So pretty. It really opens up your eyes and catches the attention of other people what other way can you look like a goddess other than having gold sparkles on your eyelids so i want to try this pixie bronzer kit thing it is this strobe and bronze i'm just going to go in and dust this kind of like in the crease and blend it so you don't have like that harsh line and then i always set that like cream eyeshadow with a little bit of a darker bronze eyeshadow this is my go-to it is from bobby brown it's a really really pretty bronze sh shadow i don't know if it was limited edition but any bronze eyeshadow will work more bronze rather than bright gold and i just press it on top and it gives you the perfect eye like look with so much dimension it's a pressed glitter so it'll really make your eyes sparkle like how you would want if you were a bronze goddess you know Athena and Aphrodite looking. If you know me, you know I always put eyeshadow on the bottom, so I'm going back in with that bronzer and just smudging it out on the bottom. I tight line my eye and kind of wing it out, and then I really messily put it on the top of my eye. A lot of you guys have actually been asking me what is the what are the falsies that I've been wearing, and I haven't been wearing any falsies recently. Just this Better Than Sex Mascara. This mascara is a game changer. It's like so freaking good. In my waterline, I always, always, always put a golden shimmer color. So this is just from Gosh. It's the Forever Eyeshadow Stick. It darkens that up and it really just accentuates the look. For lips, what other color can you take when you're doing a bronze goddess look than strip down? I'm going to go in and line my lips. Then I'm going in with 64 Unreal from Maybelline, the Vivid Hot Locker. This is so good. And then on top of that, I'm just putting a little bit of the Bel NARS Belle Du Jour lipstick. For highlight, I'm taking the Amrezi, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi 
highlight, swirling that in, just putting a little bit on my cheeks. I always put a little bit as my inner corner, and you will look instantly more bronze and like summery and glowy. What did you guys think of the royal wedding with Meghan and Harry? I thought she looked beautiful. Obviously, I'm like a full glam kind of gal. But I understand, like, for the royal wedding, you probably don't want, like, a full beat down. You know, I wasn't totally blown away by her makeup, but that's just me. Her dress was pretty. It was very simple. I was not expecting that. But overall, I thought she looked really pretty. The wedding was beautiful, and, you know, what a lucky girl. This is the Fix Plus Gold Light. I really like this one because it actually has gold shimmers in it. It's not, like, gold to the point where you're like, what the hell, she has gold sparkles on sparkles on her face but it definitely gives you a really glowy look and if you have any like powder on your face powdery areas you spray this on so good i like this more than the regular fix plus the only thing i don't love about this is the nozzle but i can look past that because it's so good i'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair and i'll be right Hair's back curled everything is done this is the finished look i'm really really happy with how this came out my, i find my skin looks very dewy and flawless but it's still set i know it's not going anywhere everything i use will be down below be sure to come back on wednesday for my skincare routine video for the summer one last thing i just want to talk about this necklace this is a new necklace from cnc it is being launched a part of the summer line what's really cool about this is on the end it actually has like adjustable and adjustable length where you can wear it like as low as this we're gonna go ahead and pull the strings in the back and bring it up to like here so it's really adjustable you can have many different looks with it i really like this kind of clasp i find it so versatile 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 <laughs> and everything as usual is handmade by my sister and i don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video and i will see you back here on wednesday